लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम टू आई फैक्टनर्स लर्न उर्दू ईडियम्स एंड प्रोवर्ब्स लेसन नंबर वन इन टूडेज लेसन वी विल लर्न द मीनिंग ऑफ टेन इम्पॉर्टेंट ईडियम्स एंड प्रोवर्ब्स इन उर्दू लेट स्टार्ट इन उर्दू वी से सबर का फल मीठा होता है नाउ वॉट डज इट मीन सबर का फल मीठा होता है इफ यू ट्रांसलेट इट देन इट मीन्स डेट इफ यू वेट देन यू विल हैव a sweet fruit its meaning is if you wait then you will get the reward we say it in uh, situations uh where for example i have applied for few jobs and i get a call from one of the companies and they offer me a job but uh, i expect a little higher offer from them or from another job and so i wait after few weeks i got another call from another company and i was offered uh, a job with double salary so in that situation we will say that sabar ka phal meetha hota hai if you wait then you will get the reward let's suppose i have invested in stocks and uh, the stock market goes up but i wait for few weeks and when after few weeks the stock prices are at the highest i sell my stocks in that situation we will say sabar ka phal meetha hota hai if you wait then you will get the best reward or you will get the sweetest fruit in urdu there is another proverb or an idiom let's suppose uh, let's say and it's it is like this pehle apne girebaan me झांक कर देखो ना वॉट डज इट मीन पहले अपने गिरेबान में जान कर झांक कर देखो इट लिटरली मीन्स फर्स्ट यू शुड सी अंडर योर ओन शर्ट and we use this idiom uh when someone is advising us to do something but we know that that person is not doing it himself and he is only advising us then we will say you should first see in your own uh girban you should first take care of your own matters or you should first take care uh, you should first take a look at yourself 
so if a person is bad and if i have done something bad and he starts telling me that you are a bad person you have done it then you should not do it then i will say to him pehle apne girban mein jaank jaank ke dekho yani ke it means you should first take a look at yourself you should take a look at your own business and you should uh, do it right and then tell me in that situation we will say pehle apne girban mein jhank kar dekho now there is an other uh, idiom which is chhota muh badi baat what does it mean chota is small mu is mouth badi is big and baat is speaking talk conversation and it means chota mu badi baat means that uh, a person of lower social status trying to tell a person trying to tell something trying to tell something to a person with higher social status now we use this idiom in the situations uh, where let's suppose uh, i am your subordinate and you are my manager and you are making a decision at that point i know that uh, uh, you are making a wrong decision at that point i will say chota mu badi baat it means that i have a lower uh, organizational status or a social status than you but i want to tell you something chota mu badi baat but i want to tell you something lekin main aapko kuch batana chahta hu and then i will say or i will tell you what i think so in those situations we say chota mu badi baat but i wa- i will i would like to tell you something chota mu badi baat now there is another idiom which is jaisa des ve sa bhes in english we say while in roman while uh, while in rome do as the romans do while in rome do as the romans do now what does it mean jaisa desh waisa bhes jaisa desh means uh, la- uh, if you are in a country in a specific country then you should behave according to that country jaisa desh waisa bhes which me it means that if i am in a country then i should dress myself according to that country jaisa desh like a country waisa bhes then like that like uh, i have to dress myself like that 
So we use uh, this idiom in the situations. For example, if I'm working in an international organization, then I have to uh, wear the dress according to the company's environment. And I have to behave according uh, to the company's rules. So, uh, in that situation, if uh, we are hiring you in our company, then I will say that you have to follow our dress, dress code. Because, Jesa des, Vesa base. For example, you have to uh, do it according to the environment. In Urdu, we have uh, another idiom, which is Jis ki lati us ki bhans. Now, what does it mean? It means the one who has the stick, the cow belongs to the one who has the stick. Bhans is cow and lati is stick. The cow belongs to the one who has the stick. In English, we have the equivalent uh, idiom which is might is right. And what uh, uh, this idiom literally means a person or we can say the cow belongs to the person who has the stick. Jiski lati uski bhans. We use this idiom in situations uh, where uh, we see that people with higher social status get or more social power gets the things done. Let's suppose uh, in a classroom environment, if a teacher is teaching and the students are listening, then at that time, the teacher has the might. And if he says something, then the students have to follow. And then in that situation, we will say, Jiski lati uski bhaiz. The teacher said, you should keep quiet because Jiski lati uski bhaiz. Now there is another idiom in Urdu and we say char din ki chandni or phir andheri rate. It literally means that the moonlight is for four days and then there will be darker uh, nights and it is equivalent to the English uh, idiom that beauty is but short-lived beauty is but short-lived and it literally means the idiom in Urdu it means the moon light is for four days and then there will be darker times or darker nights. Let's suppose a person has won a lottery and he starts spending the money without thinking of the future. And we know that his money will be over. 
he will be left with no money in a year or so in that situation we will say char din ki chandni aur phir andheri raatein the moonlight is only for few days and then there will be darker nights ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for joining me i will see you in the next lesson if you have liked this video then please give it a thumbs up if you are new to my channel then please subscribe i will be glad if you will be able to share this tutorial on your social media uh if you have questions or comments then please leave the comment uh, comments in the comment section i will see you next time until then take care keep learning keep enjoying good day like share subscribe i factor